It's been very, a very, very sad time. As a classical guitarist, Andrew Ma is used to not having a regular paycheck. But COVID dried up everything from his performances to teaching gigs to his side hustle as a sound engineer. Now the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, which helped him pay the bills, is coming to an end soon. Before CERB, it was a uh, life of terror for uh, a while there. Um, I think now at this point, it's, it's getting a little bit terrifying again. The government did provide more certainty today, announcing that most CERB recipients would migrate over to EI. We're doing our very best to support all Canadian workers and leave no one behind. The government also revealed three new temporary benefits for those who don't qualify for EI. Help for the self-employed and those in the gig economy. Paid sick leave for those who fall ill or who must self-isolate. And a child support subsidy for those forced to stay home with kids because their school or daycare is closed. At the beginning of this crisis, our government promised to do whatever it takes to support Canadian workers and to support Canadian businesses. That is what we're doing today. But the new programs are contingent on the government adopting a new bill. With Parliament prorogued, that can't happen until the end of September. By effectively proroguing Parliament and shutting down and locking down Parliament, we're unable to be able to have real discussions. I think once again they're putting Canadians in a difficult position, not knowing what is going to be the case and where the money that pays their rent is going to be coming from. Ma's happy about the news, it means he could receive a $400 weekly benefit and start working again, but says without a start date, he's still stuck in limbo. And it's it's a little confusing on, you know, like how aggressively we can, like we, sh we, we need to be to when we start, you know, start trying to work again. All he wants is some certainty during such an uncertain time. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa.